These are all models that I flew on. That is a captain's cap from 1968. I've been fascinated by airlines, especially airline history and memorabilia. My name's Dan Bennett, and I was uh, on the first flight to DIA, United Airlines, in 1995. I thought it would be great to be at the airport and be part of an opening of a major airport, because that's really rare. So I called up a friend um, in Miami and said, can you help me get on this plane? Um, and through some magic, I got an actual seat as a revenue passenger. The thing I remember the most was meeting Captain Jeppesen and his wife. Um, very tiny man, really cool guy, um, very friendly, very interested in when you were talking to him. That is the medallion from the dignitary dinner that uh, Captain Jeppesen sent me. That's the first approach map into Denver, and we were all given one of those you know, folded up as a souvenir of the flight. Captain Jeppesen sent me an air map, and it said, Dr. Dan, best wishes. If you ever get lost, call me Captain Jepp. I share with my staff that I was one of the first passengers at DIA on the first flight, and I started showing them all the memorabilia. I thought, this is unique. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And they said, share it. I think what interested me the most was a brand new airport of that scale. And I got to be there. A quick shout out to our colleagues, Aaron and Allie. They have so much great content for the 25th anniversary of DIA's opening. Make sure you check out their article on 9news.com. The 113 interesting facts about the airport. Allie also spent 12 hours under the tent there. May or may not have seen our alien friend. They wrote about it online. Definitely worth your time.